I'm Bobby Welber, and here are this week's top five stories from Hudson Valley Post. Many parents in the Hudson Valley aren't happy after they waited in line for a great deal, but left with nothing. Build-A-Bear offered a sale nationwide to give bears to customers for the cost of their child's age. No surprise, but lines wrapped outside stores in the Hudson Valley, and by late in the morning, the company announced that they would have to turn people away because of the lines. Build-A-Bear said they'll make up the lines with a $15 coupon. An insect that spreads a potentially fatal virus was just found in the Hudson Valley. Health officials from Rockland County confirmed a group of mosquitoes tested positive for the West Nile virus. According to the CDC, one in five infected people develop a fever and other symptoms. One out of 150 develops a serious, sometimes fatal illness. It appears that Justin Bieber has Hudson Valley fever. Over the weekend, Bieber got engaged to Stephen Baldwin's daughter, Haley. Haley grew up in Rockland County, and there are rumors that Stephen now lives in Orange County. Well, Wednesday, Justin and Haley were spotted at Nature's Pantry in New Windsor. The pop star even posed for a number of photos with fans. And police are investigating what they're calling a suspicious death of a Hudson Valley woman at a Dutchess County hotel room. Police say Crystal Yeager died in a hotel room she rented at the Marriott on South Road in Poughkeepsie either Sunday or Monday. The 38-year-old Poughkeepsie woman's family is working with police and officials say there's no danger to the public. The cause of death is unknown at this time. A pair of famous actors who live in Dutchess County say they're being stalked at their home. Walking Dead actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan and his wife Hillary Burton took to social media last week asking that people stop driving to their house and taking pictures as well as knocking on their door. The couple adds it's quote rude and creepy and you're being recorded. For more on these stories, follow the conversation at HudsonValleyPost.com.